Hello, hello, and happy November. Woo, woo, woo. November means that we are that much closer to Thanksgiving, which is a holiday that we celebrate in the month of November, where usually we have a lot of people come over or we have our family come over and we eat lots and lots of really good food. So for this month, for November, we're going to be focusing on some foods and making some foods that you might eat at Thanksgiving time, okay? Now, not all, move you guys up a little bit. Now, not all people eat these foods for Thanksgiving, but that's a pretty popular thing um, that people eat during Thanksgiving time or might have during Thanksgiving dinner. Now, your family might eat something different, just like Parks' family sometimes has different things other than what everyone else has, and that's totally cool too. Um, these are just some ideas of some different things that if you learn how to make them now, you might be able to help um, when you make Thanksgiving dinner, all right? Um, so the first recipe that we're going to make this week um, is mashed potatoes, all right? Um, so you'll have a recipe and you'll have a recipe review for this one um, if you have these papers. If you don't, no worries. Just follow along with me. And um, we are, last week we were supposed to do spaghetti, but we didn't end up doing it. We skipped it because we had a short week. Um, so we are just going to start off with mashed potatoes and we'll do spaghetti another time. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about in regards to spaghetti, forget it and just focus here. All right. Mashed potatoes. So Parks has the recipe out here in front of her, um, and we're going to read it together and do some actions. And then later in the week, if you guys want to, you are more than free to make this um, at home with um, whoever's at home with you. All right. Uh, so let's get going. I'm just going to hold this so you guys can see it. So step number one, we need to pour two cups of water into a medium saucepan and turn the water on high. So we're going to measure out with our measuring cup two cups of water. Okay, so we're gonna have our measuring cup, we're gonna put in some water, we're gonna look and see where the two cup um, line is, all right? And then we're gonna dump that into our pot. Okay, so you're gonna put the water and dump it into your pot. Shh. All that water, okay? Then with help with someone in your house, you're gonna turn your stove on to um, high, high heat. So it's gonna get really hot. Yeah, remember a stove gets really hot. So you're gonna be careful because I don't want you to hurt yourself, all right? So then we're gonna put our pot on our stove. All right, it says number two, once boiling, turn off the heat. So when we're talking about boiling, we're talking about when we look at it, we can see that there's lots of little bubbles floating up, 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 popping in the air, up, 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 up. Um, they're not actually up in the air, but they're in, in the pan. You can see there's lots of little bubbles that are happening, okay? So I want you to take a look and see. When you see all those little bubbles, pop, 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 in like that. See them all? You do that with me, ready? Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> Popping all those bubbles up. That means it's really, really hot and it's ready to turn the heat off. Okay. All right. Number three. So something that you'll need to get is a pouch of instant potatoes like this. Okay. See that? These are Idahoan um, potatoes, uh, but any kind of brand will work. All right. Then you're going to stir in the pouch of potatoes with a fork. So you're going to use a fork and you're going to dump, well, back it up. You're going to dump all those potato flakes into your water, okay? And then with a fork, you're gonna mix it. Mix it all up, show me how you mix. Mix, mix, mix. Yeah, you're gonna mix it all up, nice. Then once it's all mixed up and you have, you can, it's all mixed up, you can't, don't see any of that powder, any of those flakes anymore, you're going to put the top on and cover it. Okay, so put the top on, cover it, and wait how many minutes? two minutes. Yes, yeah, so you're going to set a timer for two minutes and you're going to have to wait. Okay, cover on and wait. Then you're going to take number four, five, five, stir well and serve. So then you're going to take the cover off, you're going to stir it up again, mix her up, show me how, show me how you mix. Yeah, and then you get to 
eat them. Yeah, and then you get to eat them and try them and see how you like them. Sometimes people like to put salt or pepper or some butter in their mashed potatoes. That's something that you guys can try too. Depends on how you like them. Some people like to put sour cream on them or cover them in gravy. Different kinds of things that you can do with mashed potatoes. But this is the basic recipe for how you can make them at home. All right? Hope you guys liked that. Hope you guys practiced along with me. Um, if when you guys make them, after that, if you have this, you can do a recipe review. It just asks you what did you make? What materials did you use? What ingredients did you use? What color were the potatoes? And um, how did the mashed potatoes taste? And what did you think if it was easy or hard to make? All right. So good luck, you guys. Hope you enjoy. And I will see you next week for a new recipe. Bye.